सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस अनदो वीडियो ऑफ स्केल अप इंडिया आई एम अभिषेक वर्मा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो टूडे एंड दैट इज रिलेटेड टू डी एस ए एंड द क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे इज वीडियो इज कैन डी एस ए हेल्प यू इन गेटिंग अ जॉब इन द फॉर्म कंपनी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर और नॉट इवन इन द फॉर्म कंपनी can only dsc help you in getting a job in the it industry in 2024 so let's get started with this particular video now if i say that there are so many youtubers first of all they are on the youtube who will try to influence you that okay if you are already working in this particular farm company or in that particular company and the only thing which we helped us in order to get in that particular company was dsc and in order to make your job easier what they will do is they will release some free or paid courses they will try to keep the amount also very less something like 9 rupees or 99 rupees and so on and then they will say that okay you should be able to invest this much for your future but the point is what is the guarantee after studying for these courses in getting the job in the it industry I mean that's the point. So in this video, we need we are going to understand that how much DSA is important. Only DSA is important, or do we need to study something extra also? So let's start with this part. So if I say, what do you basically mean by the term DSA? And I don't mean to get an answer like data structure and algorithm here. Yeah. So as per you, does DSA means that you need to solve something like 1000 or 2000 or 3000 problems yeah why i'm just taking thousands only because nowadays everyone is going to solve around 100 or 500 problems so that's why i'm taking that much big number or does dsa means that moment you are given a problem statement you should have a solution on your tips or does dsa means that you should be always able to provide the optimized solution the minimum time complexity the minimum space complexity yeah or dsa is something which is going to be a short short way in order to enter a farm company or any other bigger company yeah now my understanding is little different from this yeah what i feel is that in dsa instead of directly talking about the solution dsa actually means in order to understand the problem and that is the very first thing for any kind of software development we see because the moment you say that you are going to develop a particular software or any particular application what is the basic thing which we are going to do we are going to solve a particular problem and in order to solve a particular problem it is not important to know the solution the very first thing which is important is to understand the problem itself yeah but the point is what most of the times we are taught is that you do these many number of dsa questions you remember all the algorithms and all these things on your tips and you will be able to crack the interviews and all that yeah but most of the times no one is talking about understanding the problem and there exists the main issue here so what happens is that many times i also discuss with many freshers also and many other my colleagues also and what they say is that okay they are always good with the dsa that's why they were able to get hired within the company yeah but afterwards whenever they are given with a big problem let's say they need to create some kind of web application or mobile application just during the training phase itself the very first thing the major issue which they face is with this big structure of the project because in dsa what we learn is to make a particular class i mean that will depend from your language to language so let's talk about java so in java you will be having a demo class with a main method you need to write all the codes there and then you need to run the test cases and if test cases pass then okay you are a dsa master you are the expert who can solve any kind of problem but in the real world that doesn't happens so if i talk about any company like farm company let's say facebook amazon google what do you think does they only need the dsa from you in order to create 
the products like YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat. So only DSA can create these products. Or if we talk about anything like a service based company where we have a web application or where we have a mobile application which is already running. So most of the time what you need to do there is you need to resolve the existing bugs and you need to provide the new features and that's it. And sometimes there are scenarios that you, something is already running and you need to optimize the code. So can again only DSA help in all these things? The answer is no. Only DSA can never help in this. Yeah. But the problem is we are learning only DSA. So what do I mean to say here now? What my point of perspective is that DSA is important in order to get a job in the IT industry, whether you are a fresher or you are an experienced person. So even if I'm going to switch a job, then believe me, they will ask me also some DSA questions. I mean, that is going to be one of the rounds. Yeah. But and the level is also going to uh, differ. Yeah. So let's say if I'm going to a farm company, so they are going to provide me with a level one problem level two problem, level three problem and so on. And there will be around four to five rounds. If I go to any service based company, they may just give me a single round only related to DSA. Yeah. The reason why they are having DSA nowadays is not to test your knowledge. The knowledge can be tested with just one single round, whether you know DSA or not. Other rounds are basically to filter you out. That's the only thing because nowadays everyone knows DSA. Yeah. So that's the issue. Currently you open Google and there are so many DSA websites. You open YouTube. There are so many videos related to DSA. And besides that, they also provide you again, those free and paid courses, which you can get at very low cost. Yeah. So that's the thing here. So then what is important? The important thing is learn DSA. That is important. Yeah. But only DSA is not important. Beside that, my understanding says that you should also have at least one or two projects with you. The project should be created by you only, not copy pasted projects. I mean, many times people say that also like, so I guess I was talking with someone on the LinkedIn and the person was saying me that, okay, I will copy this thing from somewhere. I will show the fake experience and then the things will be easier for me. Will I be able to get the job with this? Yeah. So believe me, that also will never help you in order to get the job. You need to work hard for that. Okay. And when I say work hard, so you need to write the code with your hands only. Yeah. And that is something going to help you. That's why we call it as hands on practice. So that is something which you need to do here. So there should be at least one or two projects. Now you will say which language. So that is completely up to you. If you say I'm good with the backend uh, part, so you can code with the help of Java or Python or anything like this. If you say I'm a front end person, you can make that kind of project. If you wish, you can make a full stack project also. If you say not no for this, then I'm good with something like data analytics and all that. I wish to make my career in that particular field. Then at least try to make some project in that particular field itself. Yeah. Now what that project will give you is first of all, that project will give you the confidence because if you have created the project on your own, then you should be able to define that project very easily. Yeah. Because now you don't have only few DSA problems with you. You are also having some real based projects also with you, which you can tell to the interviewer and you can explain everything about that. And that is something which you created. So you can go with your own assumptions. You don't need to depend on the assumptions provided by some website. You can have your own test cases. Yeah. That is the number one advantage. Another advantage is it will help you in order to learn the language also. So if you are going to make a project, Obviously you are going to learn the language and some other things also. So let's say if, if we are going to create a particular project and let's say it is going to have a front end, it is going to have a back end, it is going to interact with the database. So you are going to learn so many things and then there is something like build tool also. So you will be learning so many things there. Yeah. 
and the another interesting thing is if you will say then what about DSA so as I said DSA is important because DSA round is obviously going to be there so in your project also you can implement a DSA and you will come to know that in the real world you are not going to be provided with a particular array and you will be asked to traverse over that array simply and get a value out of this in the minimum possible time but you need to work with a particular kind of database then you need to provide some business logic with that and then somewhere your DSA will come into the picture so that is something which you need to do there yeah now I hope till now we all of us are clear with this particular part now if that is the case the next thing which many of you say me is that sometimes you are able to understand the language but you don't know how to start with the things so for this what I have already done is that if you see any of my videos you pick the JDBC uh, I mean JDBC play playlist you pick the Maven playlist you pick the hibernate playlist or you pick any other basic demo also so most of the times in the very first video of that playlist I start from the scratch completely I may not code everything but I explain each and every class each and every particular part of the code here yeah. so what you also can do is just pick any of the problem and in order to make your job easiest what you can do is pick the same problem which we have with our uh, videos and that is the Pakistan application so pick that particular Pakistan application try to understand it and then try to enhance it as per your requirement so what you can do is at least make one project from the scratch where you are going to create each and everything yeah but the next time you don't need to create from the scratch and that's the trick here yeah so always if you are making multiple projects so never make from the scratch try to reuse your previous project and then only you will be able to tell that okay how much good you are in the coding because if let's say I have created one particular project and in that particular project I have written a good logic in order to read the values from the keyboard I have written a very good logic in order to interact with the database and in the second project is also something similar so that means I should be able to reuse all my previous logic yeah. so you also need to do something with your projects also so all, instead of going from the scratch always what you need to do is one project from the scratch and if the problem statement is similar then second time you just need to copy paste or if you say that okay I'm going to make one project related to the back end one project related to the front end then that's also good yeah. so this is always going to help you out now you will say that okay if what if there is no other technical round as such where they are going to ask us about our projects yeah then this activity is going to be useless believe me it is never going to be useless activity the reason is let's say in the interview they are not going to ask you but afterwards you are going into the training time or you will be directly let's say getting a particular kind of a project so at least there it is going to help you out yeah you will come to know what are the mistakes which you did earlier and then you will be or sometimes you will be able to learn that okay how better you can make this particular part or let's say if you have are already an expert in creating the packages and all these things in Java so later on it is going to become easier for you you don't you know that okay how to start with a particular application like let's say that you need to work on a legacy application what will you do like you need to understand that okay how to read this particular big application yeah so at least you will be knowing that okay if I would have to create this kind of a project I would have started from this particular point so in order to examine the application let me start with this particular point itself so there also your projects are going to help you out so at the final conclusion the only thing which I want to say is DSA plus at least one or two development projects and that is going to help you in order to get a job not only in 2024 but afterwards also so that is something which I wanted to share with you in this particular video and if you agree with me then you can tell me in the comments if you disagree with me then also you can tell me in the comments at least I will be able to learn something new from you then yeah 
and beside this if you found it interesting then please surely like the video share it with your friends who need it and also subscribe to the channel because besides these videos also the hibernate series is going on and after this spring boot series is also going to come and that is also from scratch so you will be able to get each and everything on our video here yeah and in case sometimes if you feel that okay you don't get the notifications on youtube the minimal thing which you can do is you can join our telegram channel again there is nothing paid in that particular channel the only thing which i do is i provide you the link of my latest video there you can connect with me on the linkedin also and tell me that related to the development projects how can i help you more with this yeah and i'll be try to help you out with that part also so thanks everyone and see you in the next video